everyone. Welcome to 321 Preschool Fun. I am Miss Brittany. Today we are going to talk about one-to-one -one correspondence. Now, one-to-one -one correspondence is also called rational counting, and it's a very fundamental mathematical concept that children must develop early on. It's more important than regular rote counting, which is more of a memorizational thing. When you wrote count, it's just all in sequence, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're just listing the numbers in order. But when you're able to understand and master one-to-one -one correspondence, you're able to physically touch an individual object one at a time and assign each object a numerical value. So you can see what the total number of a group of objects may be. If you have also mastered one-to-one -one, one correspondence, that means that you're able to count the objects without skipping over while counting or counting an object more than once. And I've come up with a few DIY activities at home that you guys can also make if you would like for your students or children, whichever. And they're very easy and a lot of, a lot of fun because these are things you don't buy in the store, you know? So the first object is the popsicle stick number match game. And what I did was print out some numbers with dots as the symbol if they need help with counting. And they're gonna take a colored popsicle stick and assign it to each number. So this, you need one red popsicle stick. The child will take the popsicle stick and place it in the half cut toilet paper tube. All right, next is two, orange, one, two. They will physically grab one, two. So if a child accidentally grabbed a whole bunch, that shows they haven't mastered the skill because they have to assign each object with a numerical value. The next set would be three, three yellow. One, two, three. And by the time they get all the way down to 10 green popsicle sticks, you can see the difference in groups. So if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 green popsicle sticks, you can see that it's a greater number value compared to the number one. It's cool so you can see the succession of number values and it's a great visual for children at a young age to see that. All right, so that is the popsicle stick matching numbers game. I'm gonna go grab my next one. The next activity, and it's very fun to look at for the children, cupcake candles counting activity. All I did was use some of the leftover Play-Doh that I saved in one of my other videos, the Halloween DIY Play-Doh. I put it in muffin tins to make it look like they're cupcakes. You don't have to do this. I got my magnets with numbers, place them in each individual spot, one through six. And I cut up some of these um, sticks and you can count one, one birthday candle. The next one's two, one, to have the child count out loud so you can see that they're counting the proper number and you go all the way up to six pipe cleaners representing the birthday candles. You can use larger muffin trays so that you can go all the way up to 12 or 18, however high they're able to count and compare the values of each object. For the third DIY activity, I'll grab it. I have pom-pom tactile counting cards, and I printed these out from Life Overseas, the letter C, apostrophe S, Life Overseas, and they're for home and classroom use only, so I printed my copy out, and it's one all the way to 10. And as you see, there are colored circles, so colored pom-poms work perfect for this activity, and what you do, is have the child, it doesn't have to match the color pom-pom, but it's more fun, I think. One, one cotton, one pom-pom is represented on this card. The next would be two, purple and a red, and have the child count one, two, having them physically grab each one and assign it its numerical value. 
Very fun, very easy. Just print it out at home. Simple enough. And I will provide the link of these cards which I printed them out from. The fourth activity, I have another muffin tin. Muffin tin one-to-one -one correspondence activity. Just have some counting bears. One of the die from this, at the counting bear activity. I can provide this where I bought this from as well in the link of my YouTube channel. I place magnetic numbers 0 through 10 in the muffin tray. You do not have to do this, but if I see 0, that signifies nothing should be placed here. 1. Have the child grab 1 of the counting bears. 2. 1. 2. All the way to 10. And once again, they can visually see each number represents a certain amount of objects and they can compare the sizes of each group of the counting bears and that one is way less than 10. Muffin 10 one-to-one -one correspondence, that's very, a very simple game. They can also roll the die, count the numbers one, two, and maybe place that with the number two, etc., etc. It's optional to use the die. For the next activity, I really like this one. I think it's so fun. This is the Play-Doh Squish one-to-one -one correspondence activity. So easy. I have some little balls of Play-Doh and the child, as they're counting, gets to squish each Play-Doh. This helps them not miss any numbers, not skip over. They can see exactly where they're counting at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're able to see, oh, I didn't skip over this one. I didn't do this one more than once. And then they can come up with their total number in this set of objects, which would be Play-Doh, as ten. For the next activity, I have egg carton one-to-one -one correspondence game. And you can also use an ice cube tray if you prefer. What I did with the egg carton, I did write the number just with a Sharpie, zero through 17. You can do one through 18, whichever. Cheerio, simple enough. So what I'll have the child do is they can place each Cheerio in. One, two, three, four, and they can fill in each spot all the way until the number at the end, which would be 17. Very simple, stuff I had at home already, didn't have to buy a thing. All right, two more activities. This one is the straw counting one-to-one. -one. I just have some little cups, one to hold my object, which in this case are straws. And then I've made little symbols, which are lines to represent the straw. One, two, three, four, all the way to five. The child will see how many they need. One. Count this number of lines. One, two, one, two. This group needs three. One, two, three. This represents one straw. This represents two straws. This represents three straws, they may double count. One, two, three. One, two, three. It matches, that signifies number three, and so on. Now I have one last activity, and this one I used by saving some old recycled cardboard from Amazon. So as I was saying, I used an old Amazon box, some crayons markers, and some old pouch caps that are left over from my son's pouches that he eats. And what I did was I drew some images and used the pouch caps to trace circles to represent each numerical value. An ant, frog, butterfly, tree, flower, and sunshine. And my son will place each colored object, match it to the picture. One representing one as the value of numbers for the ant. For the frog, two. One, two. And so on. All the way up to number six which is the sun. Very easy. I use it with objects around the house. Like I said, I did not have to purchase a thing for this. And if you guys really enjoyed these videos, please don't forget to give them a thumbs up and also subscribe to my 
YouTube channel, 321 Preschool Fun, where you can see other demonstrations or videos for children as this one. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.